Hello and welcome to Technical Skills YouTube channel. This is Fakat Ali with another video of Android development. In this video, we will learn how we can create the collapsing toolbar like this. Here is the example of the collapsing toolbar we will create in this project. So if you are interested to create this one, let's get started. So here I have empty project. First of all, we have to remove the app bar. So go to values, themes and here we have to select the no action bar. So here I will simply type no and here you have to select the theme.design.light.no action bar select this one and just close it okay now go to activity main.xml and here we have to design over collapsing toolbar okay so first i will remove the text view and here we have to change the constraint layout into coordinative layout so we have to select the coordinative layout first we have to add the app bar so here i will choose the app bar so here you have to select the app bar layout select this one and here width will be the match parent and height will be 280 dp okay so here i will choose the id so i will choose the id into app bar and i will close it okay now here we have example of the app bar we have to choose this color so we have to select the color so here i will choose the background color so i will choose any custom color so here i will type fff and here we can choose our color so let's say i select here this color and here we have to change same color inside the app bar okay like this okay now inside the app bar we need to add the collapsing toolbar so here i will select the collapsing toolbar layout that will be the match parent and again match parent now here we have to select the id so again i will select here collapsing toolbar you can choose any other id so now we need to select the text appearance so first i will select here collapse title text appearance now here we need to select the custom over style so here we have style we have to choose same one okay so here i will select here style and here we have to select this one okay let me increase the size of this one okay so now we need to select the expandable and here we need to select the same style so i will copy it and here i will paste it here like this okay now we need to select the scroll flag so here i will choose the scroll flag and here first we have to select here scroll and then we have to choose the snap and then we have to select the unite uh, exit united collapse okay now i will close it okay now inside we have to select one more property that is title so let's say i select here burger okay so now we need to add the image view inside over this collapsing toolbar so here i will choose the image view so here we have to select this like this and wrap content and again wrap content and here we need to select the source so we need an image view so i will copy an image so here we have image you can choose any other image so i will open the tribal and i will paste that image so paste it here and make sure you have to select the tribal not v24 okay now here i will choose the burger okay like this and now we have to select the uh, now we need to select the id so here i will choose the id so image view like this and we need to close it okay now we need to select the toolbar so here i will select toolbar and that will be the match parent and height will be attribute action bar size action bar size okay now you can also change the color if you want to change okay now we need to select the collapse mode so here we will select the collapse mode and here we have to select the pin or parallax we can select any of them okay now we need to close it and outside of the app bar we have to create the scrolling app bar so here we will create the 
uh, nested scroll view so that will be the match parent match parent and we will close it inside this scroll view we will add the constraint layout and we will add over all stuff inside this one so make sure you have to select the match parent match parent okay now press alt ctrl l to realign the code okay now inside i will choose the text view you can choose any other stuff so here i will choose the text view so that is match parent match parent and here i will choose the text so for the text i will copy and paste the text inside the string so i will simply copy a text i use this text for as a sample so i will control c and control v okay here you can see we have string starting tag and closing tag and inside this we have text okay now we will use same text here so i will select add string text okay here you can see we have now text okay now i will close it now we need to add one more property inside the nested scroll view so here we have to select the layout and we have to layout behavior and here we have to select the layout behavior and make sure you have to select the app bar layout at scroll view so we have to select the this one okay now here you can see it shifted at the bottom okay now we need to add one more thing we have to add background color to this constraint layout so right click new and select the drive resource file and here i will select the bg constraint bg understood constraint okay so i will click ok now here we need to create the item inside item we will create the shape inside shape we will select over solid and color will be white and then we have to close it and corner radius and here we have to select the top right radius that will be 30 dp and again top right sorry left and again 30 dp okay so over background shape is ready now we will go to main activity and here we will add that background inside constraint layout so here i will select the background so i will choose the background constraint and here you can see it's looking like this okay now we need to change the size of the text view so here i will select the text size that will be at least 80 dp sp and now we need to select the margin left so here i will select the margin left 15 dp and margin right that will also 15 dp okay now we will select the margin top so it's 20 dp uh, margin top it's not clearly because we did not added the constraint so here i will select this text view and we will add the constraint okay now we will add the fab icon so at the bottom of the scroll view we will add the fab icon so here i will select floating action button so select this one wrap content wrap content and here we will add the source so again we need to create the vector asset so new and select the vector asset new and vector asset so suppose i select cart so i will choose this one and here i will change the color into white okay next and finish so here i will choose that card okay so here i will choose the background tint so here you can choose any tint suppose i want to select the white you can see here we have selected or you can choose any other color so here i will choose the purple okay this now we need to add the anchor so here i will select the anchor so here we have to give the id of this app bar so here we have to select the id so our app bar id is app bar so here i will add the id app bar okay now we need to add the anchor gravity and here we have to select the bottom end okay now we need to give the margin from the right side so here i will select the margin right 
and here I will select the 50 dp okay so if you want to change the color of this uh, title so you have to go to theme and here we have to initialize the uh, color so here I will choose the text color so we have to select this text and we have to close it and color white we have to select this one like this and if we go to main activity and it will automatically change when we will run it okay now we need to change the text color so here I will choose the text color into black because over whole activity color is changed now so we have to specify the color for every item okay so now we will run the application and let's see how it will look okay application successfully running so here you can see when we scroll it automatically scroll and over app bar as the top you can see here so you can also remove the uh, this color go to activity main and here we will simply initialize it. okay now here you can see it's looking nice so when I scroll it will look like this and here you can see you can also uh, add any other background to this constraint layout so in this way we can create the collapsing toolbar if you have any question any problem you can ask me in the comment section please like my video share my video and subscribe my channel see you next video take care